way for this lightweight fight. 25 against 24. 5'10", 5'9". Reach almost identical. This is a great matchup. And to get things started, here's Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Kerry Hatley, our referee. Pettis. And Stevens. So started. You ready? You ready? Let's go to war. Come on. Here we go. White trunks for Jeremy Stevens. Black trunks for Showtime. Anthony Pettis. If you're unfamiliar with either one of these gentlemen, Anthony Pettis has a wild kicking style of fighting. He's got very good hands and is a wicked guard practitioner as well. Very good offensively off his back. Jeremy Stevens, one of the best one punch knockout artists in the division. Marcus Davis was having his way with Jeremy Stevens, and boom, midway point of the third round, exactly what you talked about, Joe. He carries, One and done. Yeah, he carries it late into the rounds as well, and, you know, he doesn't throw pity pat punches. Every shot he throws, he's looking to KO you. Had a huge left uppercut knockout of the night performance against Rafael Dos Anjos a couple of years ago at MGM. Jeremy's expanding his repertoire as well, Mike. You see his kicks and knees, they're coming much more smoothly. Both nice, of these right men. there. It, beautiful inside leg kick there by, by uh, Jeremy Stevens. Both of these men will not shy away from an exchange of strikes. Jeremy hits so hard that he throws a lot of guys off with his power. Wow, and he, he gets a takedown. He drives through that takedown. And now he's got Pettis on his back. Pettis working his Brazilian jiu-jitsu with Joe Z, Joe Zeferino. And right now they are both dry. There's no sweat. So it's going to be a lot more traction and easier for Anthony to catch him with things as he snakes his legs up. And Jeremy's using good posture right now to keep his back straight to make sure that Anthony Pettis can't pull him down and get his knee wrapped around the shoulder to press him down and hold his posture. And see, you know, you hear his corner saying, posture up. And Jeremy did an excellent job there of avoiding anything offensive off of Pettis' back. But it shows you how dangerous Pettis is off his back. Yeah, very interesting, Joe. Stevens gets the takedown. Uh-oh. Inside leg kick went astray. Yep. Stevens gets the takedown, and it's actually Pettis who was more aggressive from the ground. Yeah, here we see this inside leg kick to the cup because everybody likes Ouch. to watch those. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> The battle continues in a good pace to start this fight. Not surprising. Good punch by Anthony Pettis. Pettis has been working his wrestling with Ben Askren. Of course, he's trained since a youth under the tutelage of Duke Rufus. Might just be trainer of the year. Duke is Look how pumping fast him out. That inside leg kick comes. Beautiful hips the way he throws it in there. Just whips that leg in. And that's something that, you know, Stevens throws the, the, the power shot, but Pettis has a, just a little bit more fluidity to it. He has a background in Taekwondo initially before he started practicing Muay Thai under Duke Rufus. And a lot of times when you see that, you see those Taekwondo guys have just a bit more leg dexterity because they throw so many techniques with the, with the legs. Good shot. And Pettis, of course, famous for that title-winning crazy showtime kick that may very well have won him the fight against Ben Henderson in an amazing five-round event for the last WEC lightweight title. Right in my backyard in Glendale, Arizona. Okay, and you're right, it was a close fight till that point. Good switch into the left he goes. Pettis just stepped like he was looking to spin. And he will throw some wild kicks. He throws spinning back kicks, heel kicks, flying roundhouse kicks. He throws everything. It should be noted that Stevens is coming off a win over Danny Downs, who is a teammate of Anthony Pettis's. Downs a Duke fighter, and so Pettis is really re-evaluated and re-energized since his UFC debut against Clay Guida. And you see Jeremy Stevens trying very hard to pull off his takedown, but Pettis utilizing good defense, keeping his legs nice and spread out and his butt pressed against the cage. And Jeremy gets him down. So that's the second takedown of the round 
for Stevens. And Jeremy's got him down, and he's also got his legs extended. Note how Jeremy has his, his legs crossed underneath Anthony's legs, making sure that Anthony can't get his feet underneath him to get back up to his feet. Now what Jeremy would like to do is get his hands behind the hips of Anthony Pettis and pull him away from the cage to move to a better position. And Anthony is going to get his left leg out, it looks like. He's going to sneak his left leg up, and it's out. And now he's going to try to stand up, and he does. Pettis again stays busy on bottom. That time he was not all the way on his back, but still stayed busy with those shots to the rib, under 30. Trying to exit with a big elbow, but Stevens felt it coming. Oh, big shot by Stevens. And that's how Jeremy Stevens knocks people out. He comes in with that great combination. He throws to finish fights. Final seconds of round one. Oh! You see how he does that? What a crazy technique. Jeremy waves him off. Jumps down with his hand and then it kicks up high at the same time. And here it is, this is the end. Throws himself into the air, literally didn't have his left leg on the ground at all and he's throwing that kick. And here's the end. Excuse me, this is the beginning rather. Jeremy Stevens got a takedown, wound up in full guard, wasn't able to get anything off there. Good right hand there by Anthony Pettis. And here's the other takedown. Got him down a couple times, but wasn't able to get much oh, offensively off. on the fence. He's huh? just trying to stall you out. Okay. How you feeling? Good? If you get in the ground, go fast. Don't, don't lose time there, man. Even if he tries to lock you, go fast, fast, like yeah. you were drilling, man. Yeah, yeah. got it. Move, move, move. Everything's moving. Breathe. We're good. Breathe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Round two. Set to begin. Stevens. Pettis. Lightweight title, featherweight title. On the line tonight on pay-per-view. All right, here we go. Round two, round two, Rick. Let's go work. They continue. Remember, Pettis was the next in line when Gray Maynard and Frankie Edgar fought to that draw and then a little setback against Guida. So ironic that he's on this card again tonight trying to move himself back into position for a shot at the UFC lightweight title. Yeah, he was really set to be the guy who fought for the title next. Yep. Clay Guida derailed that train. And I think that was a good fight good. for him. It was good, go. you know, it was very frustrating, but it's good to learn. It's good to learn that there's a guy like Quay Guida out there that just can stifle you, can shut down all your offense, and impose his will on you. Good leg kick. And the, and the direct result of that, Joe, was a lot of time with Ben Askren working on his wrestling, especially his takedowns. A lot of time working with Joe Zeffirino on his back. And now he's in top position very nice as done. we speak of wrestling. Good takedown. And he's turning him to make sure that Jeremy can't get back up. Nicely done. And Anthony Pettis has a very good submission game. Not just off his back either. Very well rounded. 11 and 2. Four wins by knockout or TKO, five by submission. He allowed that left knee to get through, though, and now he's in the guard. He's got Jeremy Stevens stacked, but Stevens can use those legs to push away and defend himself a little bit better. Because now Anthony's back into a good position, but Jeremy using, utilizing that underhook. Yeah, got to be careful of the knee to the head. Pettis try, and he'll try to aim it differently. Pettis is turning him around. He's getting his back. Jeremy defended. He's on top now. Pettis is going to try for an arm triangle on the right arm, Mike. Notice how he's pushing his head down. He's trying to pin that arm in between his head and, and, and get the arm isolated and push it up towards the head. He's going to step over, full mount now. Pettis trying to earn some points here in the second round. Good ground game so far by Anthony Pettis. Very smooth control on the ground here. But the right knee of Jeremy Stevens, he's got to get past that. He's got to move towards his left side and step over that knee. There he goes. See how he stepped over? And now he's he's got to be careful because Jeremy is looking to get a Kimura on his left arm as his left arm is deep, deep on Jeremy Stevens here. And Jeremy steps back to his feet. But he's got to be careful that Anthony doesn't get his back. And the reason why... All right, there he goes. He got his back up against the cage here. Good job by Jeremy Stevens in getting back to his feet. I mean, it's a veteran. When you speak of Jeremy Stevens, he's a veteran of 26 MMA fights. Good knee there by Pettis. Now Pettis has Anthony's back. He's hanging on to him. Drags him 
knee down. Nicely done. Very nicely done by Anthony Pettis. Shots from the bottom by Stevens. Just past the midway point of this fight. Back up is Little Heathen. Back up again. And uh, Anthony no longer has double underhooks here. Stevens, a native of Des Moines, yeah, Iowa. He does. Got him back. Back down again. He moved his entire family to San Diego a few years ago to up his training in the competition there within at Alliance MMA. He stepped over the knee again into half guard. And Jeremy's trying to get back up to his feet. It's the underhook that allows him to get back up to his feet, Mike. You see it on the left side? That's, how, that's what allowed him to get back up to his feet. If Pettis can keep him from getting that underhook, he could probably keep him down. Under 90 seconds on the clock here in the second. Pettis really working to take him down again, Joe. The Kimura attempt here, but, you know, he's got to be careful because he's giving up his back. In, a, in attacking with that Kimura, if Pettis can pull his arm out, he has full back control. And he hear his corner yelling, both hooks, because he does not have the right hook. And what that means is the right leg, there it is, over the top of the right leg of Anthony Pettis, or, uh, excuse me, of Jeremy Stevens, now controls him in the full back mount. And Pettis will switch to a triangle, and there he does, triangling the body of Jeremy Stevens, and that cuts out his ability to breathe. And Jeremy's done a good thing in rolling towards the side where the triangle is attached. That puts pressure on the ankle, and it makes it harder for Anthony Pettis to squeeze the abdomen of Jeremy Stevens and cut back on the breathing. Well, we see the ever-evolving game of Anthony Pettis showcased here with his ground skills tonight. And if he can flatten him out from this position, that's very painful. That's exactly what the Ivan Salivary. Exactly. Looking to choke him out here late in the round, 20 seconds. Jeremy Stevens is in a world of trouble here, not liking it. He's defending the choke so far, but he does not like the fact that Anthony Pettis essentially dominated him. Oh! Final seconds of the round. Final Stevens second, looking Stevens for a big shot. Some offense off. Trying to tee off on Pettis. Excellent round. You can take him down at will. Great work. Great work. Good. Breathe. Nice round. Very professional round. That's what I'm talking about. Well rounded. Breathe. Feeling great? You're in awesome shape. We're just getting started. This is, what the, this is when the workout starts in Sparta, right? There you go, son. All right. I need the combos. Look for the takedown. And here the adjustment by Anthony Pettis. He decided to take Jeremy Stevens down in this round and had some amazing success because of it. Controlled him in the grappling aspects of this round. Got him down over and over again. Got his back. Got the body triangle, went for an arm bar towards the end of the round there and lost the position. Jeremy's so strong and had such great posture. He, he powered out of that and looked for some offense towards the end of the round, but was unable to land anything. Third round, man. Third round. Come on. Third and final round. Now, look for Anthony Pettis to start opening up with the kicks. Note the distance, Mike. He's got a lot more distance between him and big Jeremy right. Stevens. Yep, big right hand off the shoulder, Joe. Pushing forward is Stevens. Stevens he looking for the takedown. Can Pettis defend? Down. The way Jeremy has his right arm pinned down to the mat, if Pettis, no, he doesn't have it anymore. Pettis loves the triangle choke, Joe. He oh, finished he threw it right there. He yeah. threw it up. Yep, he and finished he a couple of men punch. in the WEC with the triangle. He set it up with a punch to the face. But Stevens is really good at posturing out of that, Mike. He's prepared for it. Finished Mike Campbell, Alex Karalexis, and Shane Roller all by triangle during his WEC career. Submission of the night against Roller, kicked by Pettis. He didn't even show that kick. See, he didn't even turn his shoulders into it. Really sneaky right leg kick. Then he went high with it. Got a lot of respect for the power of Stevens, trying to stay at distance. Ducks under, looking for another takedown. Uh -oh. Lost the takedown, goes for an arm, but Jeremy's got his elbow out of it. No worry about that now. 
Pettis very long and lean at Pettis. 155. Pettis is also very good at defending himself from the ground. Look at that sweep. Beautiful. Showtime would love to finish this fight. Wants to earn his first UFC win. Look for a knee. You hear Duke Roof is calling for the right knee. And it's the left knee of Stevens. There you go. Now he's kind of moving his stance around. He might be able to throw that knee. He had that right leg forward before. Nice trip. The Olympian Ben Askren leading the wrestling crew at Rufus Sport in Milwaukee. And Anthony again has double underhooks and a good control of the body of Jeremy Stevens. Stevens tried to trip and a kick by Pettis. And Pettis goes deep with his double, but he's got, he got it. it. Good takedowns tonight yeah. by Anthony Pettis. Yeah, a definite improvement in that aspect of his game. And it was the wrestling of Clay Guida that victimized him in his UFC debut. Yeah, he learned a lot from that fight. You know, I spoke with him afterwards, and he was so frustrated. I said, listen, that is an amazing experience for you. You need to know that a guy can do that to you. You, got, you learned a lesson. Yep. And the old key is not what happens to the man, it's what he does after it happens, and we see what Pettis has done. Just over 90 seconds on the clock in this fight. Pettis drops down, but look, Jeremy Stevens is very educated on the ground. Note how he immediately pulls his elbow past the crotch, making himself safe from any armbar attempt. You know, this is what he has to look out for. He's got his back. Jeremy's got his back. Pettis, Pettis tries to stand explodes and, he does. and he's up. Good transition by Pettis back to the feet. Just over a minute now. Good knees to the leg. Pettis of Mexican and Puerto Rican descent. His mom is Mexican, his father, Perez, is of Puerto Rican descent. He's a great mixed martial artist. Both of these men just prove again how stacked the lightweight division in the UFC is. It's the most ridiculous division in mixed martial arts. Absolutely. There's so many contenders. It's so difficult for anyone to decide. And by the way, Gilbert Melendez is coming to the UFC yeah, no too. Kidding, right? How about that? Yeah. He, and he might be the best of all. He's one of them, no doubt about it. The show, the uh, excuse me, the Strike Force champion. With him in here, it just makes an even more ridiculous division. And then of course, there's also Eddie Alvarez, who's also an elite fighter at 155 pounds. Love to get him over here as well. 15 seconds. Dana White has always promised the fans that he will try to put on the best fights in mixed martial arts on a consistent does. basis. He absolutely does. Final seconds of this lightweight battle. Pedersen Stevens. We will go to the judges' scorecards. And here's Jeremy Stevens looking to throw some ground and pound, but look at this trip. Beautifully done. Use the right leg to scissor, kick out the legs. And here's another takedown by Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis really showing a lot of wrestling in this fight. An excellent control on the ground. Duke Rufus with Anthony Pettis. Pettis looking for his first UFC win. Stevens hoping he has earned his eighth UFC victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score this contest 29-28, Pettis, 29-28, Stevens, and 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Anthony Showtime Pettis! Anthony Pettis has earned his first career UFC.
UFC victory. He wins tonight here in Houston by split decision.